This next story, giving thanks this week, means something special for a First Coast mother and her son. They're both giving thanks for life because one year ago, a serious illness nearly took it all away. Our Alex Ositis is on your side tonight with a story of an operation done out of love. It was scary. I remember being scared. Jean Austin Danner's kidneys were failing due to polycystic kidney disease an inherited disorder where clusters of cysts form on the kidneys. She was in need, and her son Andrew stepped up to help. It was last November the two donned gowns and were rolled into surgery. No question, I know that my mom uh, gave me two kidneys to start with, so the least I could do is give her one back. Andrew had no hesitation donating one of his kidneys, but Jean was nervous. As his mother, I didn't want to take a body part from him, but I've made peace with that, and so during the last week we just... We were here together. The transplant almost an instant success, but with a long road of recovery and care ahead. One year later, both are thankful for Jean's health and recovery and the gift of life. I'm hitting the one year mark because the first year is the riskiest. And um, I've had two biopsies of my kidneys and they both show that my kidney is doing well. The pair also advocates for organ donation because it may be another family on another holiday able to give thanks. My other son was my caregiver, and so he and I enjoyed Thanksgiving dinner together in the hospital, but uh, it'll be fun to do it this year, uh, yeah, out of the hospital. Reporting, Alex Osiris, First Coast News, on your side.